Alright guys, welcome to a video on FDG. Uh, today I will be telling you how to make money on Fat Duck Gaming. Now there are a few ways to make money on Fat Duck Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you just a few of them. And as well as the best way without as much cash as you can from your bank account. And then you want to pick up some pliers. Now they're only $100, I'm going to pick up a pair. Just need a pair of pliers. You might want to get a hatchet while you're here as well. GPS and you also want to get these tools leather edge and that's it just the leather edge now here is where the hardware store is located and over here is a market this little yellow symbol you can go to any one of these um i'm going to this one since it's the closest to me all right so once you're at this shop you've got to go and flex g you want to buy an empty keychain one of them and a pack of bobby pins all right once you get the pack of bobby pins, you want to combine these two, the bobby pin and the pliers, which gives you makeshift lock picks. Once you've got the makeshift lock picks, put it into something in your hotbar. I've got one of these lock picking tools, and then I'll show you the locations where you can rob houses. So there are a few main locations where you can rob houses here, here, down in Grove, and here. Now, before you used to be able to see on the map, where you could rob now you just gotta go around the areas and uh find out for yourself this you know from one house it's it's a lot of money get a couple of bitcoin and this sort of stuff you know um i wonder what's in here maybe nothing can't drop it put that away so item is for purchase okay well that doesn't matter and that's why you want to get stuff for the pawn shop because it's where all the money is. Main Street. Grapeseed Main Street. Thank you very much. Yeah. Is that is that is there only one location now, or is there? Yeah, there's one now, and they changed. They changed. The tsunami. Ah, fuck. All right. Well, yeah. thank you, Matt. You uh, you I'll have a good you. one. You too. So there we go. Grapeseed Main Street for this wipe. So when you walk up to a door and you flex your hotkey where your lockpicks are, it'll either say cooldown active or your character will start doing an animation. If it says cooldown active, you can't rob it and you've got to come back later. Someone's already robbed it. But if your character starts doing an animation, it means you're breaking into the house. All right, now that we're in the trap car, you want to go out somewhere uh, up in sandy, grape seed, sort of like Grand Sonora Desert area take some um, dirt roads to try and find some rabbits and you want to get a rabbit and gut it with your hunting knife. Pull out your hunting knife, skin the animal. Oh my god, the meat has been ruined. Don't run it over, because then it ruins your fucking meat. Fuck. Oh, fuck, mate. Yeah, I did get deported. <laughs> yeah, I think I may know you from my head. I'm going out of RP, but yeah. Yeah, 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 nah, I did, um, I, I got their bad books, let's say, I, uh... <laughs> yeah, you don't deserve it, but, uh, I, I saw that shit, like, they're, they're just, you know, dickheads, so you don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just fucking around and shit, I was going to bad. Yeah, I know, well, uh, anyway, um, yeah, so, I appreciate it, brother, thank you. Yeah, I recognize your voice. So, uh, thanks to the guy in the previous clip, he let me know you need a hunting rifle in order to, uh... In order to kill rabbits and uh, deer and all that shit without um, ruining the meat, you also need a couple special tools which I'll show you what you need in order to harvest the meat and hide and all that sort of shit. Alright, so what you're going to need is flesh knife, leather edge here, leather die, stripping tool, creasing tool, pricking wheel, chloride, hemp oil, and leather resin so see that let's find the rabbit pelt here that six hundred dollar rabbit pelt has turned into four plus it's turned into six grand so it's almost 10x by doing all these steps and it's definitely the way to go once you have a rabbit pelt what you're going to want to do is number one flesh knife number two leather edge and three hemp oil just drag it on and use it on the rabbit pelt and then you get a pristine rabbit pelt once you do the edge the flesh knife on the rabbit pelt you'll get these things animal hide or something what you want to do is you want to get sodium chloride leather resin edger pricking wheel and creasing tool and then you get this
triple pristine dyed animal leather. So if you remove weed from its bag and have rolling papers on you, you can roll the weed into joints, as you can see. So one rolling paper and it's five weed gives you five joints. You can also do things like rob convenience stores. All you need to do is have a gun in your inventory and aim it at him, and then he'll start emptying the cash register. The best starter car I recommend getting is the Cadillac Escalade. As I don't think it's that expensive. It's got 500 kilos worth of storage in the back, and it's gonna be good for when you're going off-road and um, hunting. So this is why I recommend the Cadillac Escalade. All right, so here's the Auto Scrap Merchant. Um, fuck turbos, fuck me. Um, I'm gonna sell him a ECU and a hydraulic handbrake. There we go. What if I can? No, you can't sell that to him. But there we go. That's like two grand or something. It's not bad. I think you can get all this shit from uh, chopping cars, and you can find them in houses when you rub them. These uh, sort of um, whitelisted jobs, you can go here and process applications. I'm at the Alter Street Job Center. And here we go, you can choose whichever job you want. And I don't have any open ones, but get some hours up in the game and some experience. And uh, you can apply to be a mechanic, car salesman, whatever. So when you first load into the city, you want to go to Go Postal. This is probably the best way in order to make money. And here, I can only do one star things, I think. It's a good thing about the um, scooter. You can basically just drive it anywhere, especially with these um, shitty jobs in these sorts of areas. Um, real tight spaces. But you get them done quicker. Um, anyway, I'll come back when I'm finished and you'll see how much I get paid. All right, just delivered my last letter uh it's taken me uh two eight minutes to deliver the letters with the stuttering so when we get back we'll see how much i get paid come here and then you press g i don't know how much money i got let's have a look if we can oh fuck well i've got no fucking idea but anyway it took me eight minutes and maybe if i go i got seven grand eight minutes it's not that bad. So, just doing what I did before, locked, you click it, and it's gone. Locked, you click it, and it's gone. And then you can see, locked, click, gone, lock, click, gone, lock, click, gone, lock. See? And then you get more sort of delivery. Strawberry letter delivery. Let's see. So, a letter delivery was a seven grand. Let's see how much a parcel delivery is. So, back at the Go Postal HQ, it's taken me about ten minutes in order to complete this mission. And we got... Seven, three, we got 8,000. No! Oh my god, that fucking, that scared me. So I'm going to do one more parcel delivery in uh, Howick, which is around here. And then I should have enough to be able to buy the hunting rifle. And I suggest you guys grind up until you can buy the hunting rifle. As hunting is probably the easiest way to make money in my opinion. So there are two more jobs you can do. There is the farming board up in Polito and Grapeseed. And as well as the Go Postal. So you don't need to apply for these jobs unlike in other cities. You just walk up to the job boards and you select a job that you want to do. And you do it. That's it for this video, just a quick recap, hunting is the best job you can do, you can make so much money it just requires a little bit of startup funds, I covered hunting, go postal and also house robbing, so you can choose any of those three to get started in your journey in Fat Duck Gaming and if you want to see another video on drugs and other jobs, leave a comment, like and I'll see you in the next video.